Hello everyone and uh, welcome back. I'm really sorry I had taken a little while to um, post up a new video. It was just really really dark outside and I just I don't have a proper light so it was just made it really hard to, um, to film because I didn't have good lighting for you guys. So today I thought I'd show you some stuff from the brand new book Worlds of Wonder and I'm so excited about this book. I waited and waited and waited for it. Now, I actually have two of these. So I have one that I'm sort of practicing in and then I've got one that I am gonna to use to show you guys. So today I'm gonna to show you what, so as you can see, I've already started. I'm gonna show you these ones here. I posted these in a Facebook group and I got such great feedback and there were some requests for a tutorial on how I did these books so I thought how about we do that today so I'm gonna get my other book out and I'm gonna show you how to make your books sort of pop out of the page and look 3d like we do in this one so let's get started okay so this is what they look like before they're colored in and we're going to use a relatively limited color palette for these and we're going to use really nice and earthy tones and make them look nice and antique. I'll show you which colors we're going to be using. So I'm going to be using my Polychromos and I've got my 120 set and I'm going to be using mainly colors from the bottom tray apart from one green because the greens are all in the section above. So for the bottom book, which is the one we're going to start with, we are going to be using these three here. So that's the Burnt Sienna, which is the 283. Then it's the Bista, which is the 179. And the Black, which is the 199. Then for the next book up, which is a green one, I'm going to be using this one here, which is a Chromium Green Opaque and that is the 174 and I'm also going to be using for the third book this one here I'm, quite, I'm counting from the bottom by the way I'm going to be using just a black as well as the warm grey and that's a warm grey 2 which is 271 and then for the top ones I'm going to be using the India Red and the Dark Naples Orca. That is 192 and 184. Now with these as well, I'm also going to be using my white Prismacolor, which is the PC938. And I'm going to be using that to blend all of them. Now a couple of these, like especially the Orca, I'm going to be using in some of these little, just some tucks couple of little details and stuff as well but the pre predominant colors of the book are the ones I've shown you as well okay so I'm going to be starting with the Bista so I'm going to start down the bottom and I'm just going to start just layering down just a very fine fine layer I'm going very lightly in I also want to say I'm gonna think that the Sun is coming from somewhere up on the left hand side and the sun is going to sort of hit the light's going to hit the top and so the books just on the top here and then we're going to have a bit of shading down the bottom because most books curve in a little bit so we're going to have a darker down the bottom of each book and we're also going to put in shading on this side here because if this light is coming from up here this area here is going to be a bit darker With the polychromos, I just find that doing lots and lots of light layers seems to give the best effect. I just find that I can control the colors much better. Just, just like the base, like a little base color. 
好了。Sienna, and I'm going to just start slowly building up sort of the darker, the darker areas. Now, one thing I didn't do when I did the other one was write down exactly what I did, and I should have done that. So I'm kind of just going on memory of roughly what I did. So I'm hoping we can get roughly about the same. The same result, but it should. I kind of remember what I did. Remember what I did say. I think I find we like those old leather, leather books, and like the antique ones. It's like they got this beautiful sort of warm, warm colour. I'm just trying to, I'm trying not to hit that sort of edge there too much. But remember, I'm also going to go in with, with the white as well. So that will bring things down a bit again and then we're going to build up more. So in here I can kind of go a little bit. Dark. I don't want to go too dark either because I need more, more layers. So I don't want to go in too hard and not be able to put in the amount of layers that I need. Black. I'm just starting down the bottom here. There's a nice sort of strong. I'm going to go in pretty hard because I don't want too much other color to go on top. I'm going to put a bit of the burnt sienna in here as well, but I just want to have a good base layer in so I don't accidentally color over with the darker with the darker color before I can get the light colors in. I just wanted to get that in there. All right, back on with the black. I'm gonna just go just down the side here. I'm sort of imagining these sort of ends here being pretty, pretty dark. And same up the top here. This is where the shade would shadows would fall and I'm thinking they sort of come out not quite to the corner but like slightly diagonally across okay I'm going to go back in with my burnt sienna I'm just going to go over Thank you. 
side here a little bit as well. I'm going to go in with the pista. I'm going to have a bit more shade here and on the sides here and I'll have a little bit lighter in the middle. It just gives a really cool effect even though technically it's all in the shade but it just gives it a bit more of that paper feel. tones just on the on the paper so I'm sort of just sticking to the blacks and the vista. Alright I'm gonna go in start going in with my white kind of use as a blender and sort of smush it all together. it again I'm gonna darken it even more So I want to make it look like these ones here sort of poke out a bit because that's what they do in the old books. They will have like a thing underneath it to make it like a standy out bit. So I'm just gonna lay a bit of shading underneath there.
of the best. Uh, just going to use the under splendor a little bit with. Just, I just want to look, make it look a little bit like it's like gold flakes. So the little, you know, sometimes when they made like these old little books, they had this gold leaf that they put on those little areas there. They sort of kind of came out a bit. I've seen it done. It's so cool. So I'll just make it a little bit darker. And let's see, I'm gonna add in a little bit more white just at the center here. Not a lot. I just wanna lighten that just a tiny tiny bit. And this sort of last little bit I'm gonna Use my black and I'm just gonna get those lines back again. So you can see. And I'm just gonna just those darkest areas. Just gonna make them really nice and dark. side and a bit darker on that side but not by much just a touch and just this top here will probably be a bit darker because it's sort of on that side with my white just a tiny bit just to smush it all together and I think that's roughly the first book I think I'm just gonna put a little bit more white just on that shade part no not shade part the highlight part just there because that's going around the other side of the book so it should be darker there we go I think I keep playing with it on there we go I think that's the first that's our first book Done. Actually, hang on, I'm just gonna put. <laughs> see, see, I told you I'm gonna keep playing with it. I'm just gonna put a little bit of black just at the edges there, and I'm just gonna quickly go over it with the ochre again. Just 
begins to blend it in. This green is just really sort of earthy. It's not too, it's not too yellow, but it's just like that perfect combination of that blue and yellow, but without being like crazy bright. Perfect for like a little antique book. to start putting a bit more colour down the bottom here because I want that really really dark I just want to really just saturate it but again just building it up slowly it's easy to go slow and get there at the right time rather than realize you put down too much and you can't take it back because once you got these down it's hard to sort of erase stuff that you don't like so I'm going to do the shading exactly the same as I did down the bottom here make it really dark down the bottom where the sort of the curve where it curves in make this side darker and then same so I'm doing that shade here like a bit of a diagonal there so this side here is much darker than that side there start with placing down some black and just really start darkening this up because that's what makes that 3d sort of effect on it where you want to just reach in and pick them up So I'm almost getting I'm getting a little bit more shading on the bottom book too, which is fine by me. I'm gonna go back off the top here as well and just a thin layer of black up the top. start with my white and I'm going to start bringing it all together smush 
washing it all out. I'm just going to do that side now. I'll do a bit more. On the other side, I'm going to go back with my green. Just do a thin layer just on top of all that white. I don't want it completely white, it needs to have a bit of colour to it. There we go. And I'm going to go back over the top here. So I just filmed this whole thing here and don't you think my camera didn't record it? I'm going to just show you quickly what I did. I went in, I did exactly the same as I did with the bottom but I've only used, I've used my black and I've used my warm grey too and then I've used my burnt sienna and my naples orchid on those here just slightly darker than what I did on that. I can't believe that didn't record. I'm just gonna go, so what I did, I just went in very light with a black layer up and just left the top again here. I went probably maybe two thirds up as well as did that line here and on the side here and around there. Then I went in with the warm grey and I covered all of the sort of the lighter highlight pieces just with a light layer of warm grey. Did another layer of black down the bottom and then I sort of smushed it together with my white Prisma colour. I can't believe that didn't oh didn't record after all of that and I didn't record for me so I'm just gonna do I'm gonna do the side here worst comes to worst I'll grab my ivy book and I can show you how I did that black one afterwards because this book here doesn't have any more of these book stacks inside it. All of the other pictures that are like further up here, they have more than one picture of them, but not the stack of books. Okay, I'm just doing the sides here exactly the same as I did with the other one. So I've got my black, I've got my vista going down very light in the center darker on the edges and at each end, each end and then smush it together with the white and just finish off with a bit more of the bista little one here I'm going to use my India red same one as I'm going to use up the top here that I showed you at the start I'm kind of leaving the edge a bit white and I'm going to do that one dark and again just in 
with the white just to sm smush it together and just give it a tiny bit of highlight because it pokes out a little bit more so I'm kind of thinking that it's getting hit by that same ray of light that it did here kind of thing. Let's see, I'm going to go in just a tiny bit more black just here. I want it just a bit touch darker. Now that I've made that little bookmark, I can sort of see where I need to add a little bit more. So literally, as I said, I've used the same technique on that black one as I've done with the other ones, just using a different colour. So, alrighty, now let's go with that top book. At least now I am dead certain it is recording, so <laughs> you will see it all. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my India Red. Again, light layers, and I'm just sort of stopping just before the top. It's very light up the top there, and a bit firmer down the bottom. spot because that bottom one is black when I'm going in here I'm pretty much pulling some of that black into it anyway so I might not even need to add black to this spot here afterwards okay now this obviously as I said the Sun is coming from somewhere up this way here so it's hitting here, but it's also because it's top book, it's sort of hitting a little bit on the side here. So I'm gonna start here, make this darker, and then sort of just lighten my way, barely touching at the end, just sort of. So I heard someone describe it as tickling the paper and that's exactly what we're doing. Just giving it a tiny bit of a tickle at the end. Firmer pressure here. And then just start lifting it up and just barely touching. Okay, I'm going to go in with my Dark Naples Orca. This is pretty much like a big version of these ones, this part here. I'm kind of thinking it's like a like a little extra wrapper that kind of goes around. because it's a lighter colour. Same here. Now I'm going to use black as well on the sort of the gold parts but I want to lay down some burnt sienna first. 
So burnt sienna going down. with the yellow with the ochre I'm gonna go I'm gonna do 
be more white, just sort of here. I'm just going to do a little bit more highlight. Not much of, just a tiny bit. That's better. Okay, let's do, do the side again. and a bit of black I'm going to go back in I want to do just that little bit there just a tiny bit darker Kind of pick up on things afterwards that you want to shade a bit more. There with the white, and then last layer. So just to sort of warm it up, I'm just going to go touch darker just on the up there and down the side there. stack of books and I hope you enjoyed just this little tutorial I'm so sorry that I didn't I missed that that book there I think I might have missed some of the very end of this one here but I think you've got most of that one it might have just been the side but yeah I think we I need to stop playing with this. <laughs> there we go. That's a stack of books from the little front fold of Johanna Basford's Worlds of Wonder, which is the current book, colouring book that should be out. It's out on Amazon, it's on Book Depository and certain stores as well so if you haven't got it yet run out and buy it because it is amazing thank you so much for coming and watching with me today i hope you enjoyed it i hope you were able to color along at least most of it and if you have any questions please feel free to ask them below and let me know if you want to get to have some more tutorials book tutorials or whatever you want me to do and I will see you again next time. Bye!